Hey guys, today I have a package. Excuse the fans. I have two fans on. It's really hot. I thought I could film without them because it was cooler in the morning, but now that I've come home from work, no. It's really hot. So yeah. So I went on AliExpress and I purchased this uh, Wei Wusheng cosplay for Modao Zushi, which is also known as the Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. Every time I say that name, it's a very long translation. So yeah. Anyways, I purchased his other outfit. So he has three outfits. One, the one that I have that's in my cosplay playlist for him, I also have a Lanzang one, but the one that I have for Wei Ying is actually when he's younger. There is an older one where he's wearing like an obsidian robe with like longer sleeves. That one is actually like the older one, which I did not purchase. I actually went for the one where there's a guy in the beginning of the like manhua where he summons him and basically he summons him into his own body and so he ends up looking like that guy but for some reason he looks similar to how Wayne looked in the past so it's all very complicated. Anyways, um, the outfit that he's wearing is actually those guy, that guy's like robes and stuff so that's what I purchased because I actually really like that one. Um, I was thinking about getting by the way, Wei Ying is here. I was thinking about getting his uh, obsidian robe too, but I don't know. I didn't want more than one cosplay of him. So yeah, the pillow cannot stand up properly, so his head's just going to be peeking here. So AliExpress, I paid $53.39 Canadian, including shipping. And when I clicked into the actual Okay, so for some reason when I clicked into the actual item that I bought before when I was on vacation, I clicked into it to see if they still had it and they didn't. But now apparently they still have it. So I will leave a link in the description box below if you guys not the description box but the comment section below if you guys want to see I can't speak because it is description box, but it's in the description box below. If you want to see like the actual um, website that you can purchase it from, it's from AliExpress, but a specific vendor. So I'll just leave a link if you guys want to see or if you're interested in buying it. I have not bought from this vendor yet, so we'll see how good it is. It came in a bubble wrap bag, which is fairly nice. It does have a flute, which I didn't know that it would have a flute. Anyways, I do have a bigger one that is actually like shaped as Wing's flute too, and it looks much nicer. Okay, I'm not gonna take this out now, but there's like dust everywhere. <laughs> Oh goodness, and it does look like it has some cracks in the wood too, so I don't think it's like nicely made. I don't think this is something that you could play, but more so just like an actual piece of wood. It is made out of wood though. The other one that I have is also made out of wood, but it's playable. This is just really dirty, so I need to clean it first, but yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't think this is super authentic to how his looks like either. If you want to see the actual flute that I bought from another vendor on AliExpress, you can check it out. It's also on the Weighing Cosplay, so it's in my cosplay playlist. Yeah, I didn't know that it was coming with something like this, but that's okay. I'll clean it up later, but it does have like the flute holes and stuff like that. It's just not... I don't think this is playable. Probably not, because it does look cheaply made, so probably just a prop. I will put it down here for now. It might be from the exact same vendor as the weighing one that I bought before because it does have the same postcard with it 
or it could just be from the same manufacturer for all we know but anyways <laughs> it does come with a hair ribbon to tie on your hair which Wayne has don't know if it's noticeable here he is he has a tie um but this is like a very cheap ribbon to be honest so i did use the one that came with my other one and it was just kind of like it started becoming straggly at the ends already like this like frayed so it's whatever <laughs> I heard that this was actually small compared to like regular American sizing so I did buy like a size up so I normally wear medium but I ended up buying large because I was afraid that it would be too small I'm assuming the pants go on first no this is not a pant Okay, so it doesn't come with pants. Um, the other ones come with pants, but this one just comes with like a skirt thing, which is fine. Like, I'm wearing shorts anyways. I'm just gonna tuck my tank top under. It's okay, like you can't see the bottom because my camera angle, but it's fine. It's not like a super like triangular um, skirt, it's more rectangular, like going down and kind of like, it's not super loose on the bottom. Let me just look at the photo so that way I know I'm wearing this right. So the long robe goes on first, this is what it looks like, and then this is the sleeves, the sleeves have really nice detailing, and then this is kind of like a smoother material, and this is a little bit rougher, you can see like the patterning on it, and then the like collared part, it's like this. The patterns are really nice and the fading and the gradation from the black to the gray are also really pretty too. You can see the bottom of the robe also has that. And this is what it just looks like inside. It's just lined like this. I think it's not really lined with anything. It's just this is what the other side of the fabric looks like. From what I learned in the cosplays, um, a lot of the Japanese kimono cosplays are like not as round as this. It might be authentic. I don't know if it's authentic to the actual like traditional clothing, like how Japanese kimonos are more like sharp and pointy here, as for Chinese ones tend to be more swoopy here. I don't know if that's super authentic because it's hard to tell in the cartoons too because literally all you see is like this big poofy sleeve um and then it does have strings to tie doesn't really close that well <laughs> And then this robe goes over it. I don't know why there's like 
some white parts like the fabric is kind of messed up here like there's white parts it's not super noticeable i guess from like a distance maybe but up close you can definitely see it and then is the detailing for the collar there's like printed designs on it and then here's the sleeve this part is supposed to be like a short sleeve robe thing i don't know what to call it it is supposed to be like based on like traditional chinese clothing but there's so many different robes at this point i don't know <laughs> i'm sorry so the sleeves through the sleeves like so it's supposed to look like this and it's layered which is super warm for summer i have to say um and then this part i think it's supposed to be layered like this but the string is very low that's the one issue i had with like these types of cosplays i found that they kept using strings like this and it was really difficult. Same thing with my Kazuha cosplay from, like, what is it? From Genshin Impact. It was just, like, tied up with strings instead of an actual thing that you could maybe Velcro on. So definitely you could add stuff, like, to put it on or, like, pin it. So that way it doesn't feel like it's coming loose all the time. This is what the back looks like. And then this is the belt. It's Velcro, so... This is also supposed to be overlapping too. difficult with long Kinda hard to hide the strings. Maybe if I tied this better, it would have just hidden the strings, but there it is. And I think this is supposed to be off to the side. It looks oddly similar, like almost similar to the other weighing belt. It just doesn't have the thing draping over. It has like this cloth that drapes over, but this one doesn't. This is supposed to be tighter so you can see it, but it doesn't want to stay, so it's okay. So this is what it looks like, and then the back. The only problem is that, yeah, definitely if you're a medium, like a small to medium, go for a large because the belt is pretty tight. However, the belt is supposed to be situated like right on the waist, not like on the hip area. Um, this is more so like the waist area. So that's how it can fit here still, but it doesn't fit like down there. And then these are basically the same things as the other cosplay. Because 
This is exactly how it was made. It might be made from the same manufacturer. I'm not too sure if it's the same company that I ordered from though. These are Velcro so you can take it off, but apparently my arm is so thin, it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> So he has his sleeve thing like so, and then just here. Overall, it's pretty like comfy. I would say it's not like anything restricting in any way. Like you can definitely move your hands and like do stuff. So if you're at a convention, it won't be like super restricting. This is what the back looks like. Overall, I like it. It's just quite a bit of layers, like wearing this many layers. Even without a tank top, I guarantee for me, because I have like a problem with like heat temperature in general. So I feel like if I were to wear this with like in the summer, it might be super hot in summer. So yeah, but I feel like if I were to wear this even without the tank top, it might be super warm still. But other than that, I like it. The patterns are really pretty, and for the price, the price is pretty cheap. There are other vendors too that are selling the same thing, and some of them are more expensive than others. I feel like AliExpress is one of those places you just gotta keep checking different vendors, and you'll eventually find one that's buying from the same like uh, manufacturer. It's just selling it for cheaper or at a more discounted price, which is convenient like more convenient than buying from like a cosplay shop sometimes but this is more of a Chinese character too so I don't know where else to get the cosplays for them because most of the shops that I know for like cosplay um, websites they don't have Chinese characters like in terms of the manhwas and stuff like that so it's better that I just look on AliExpress but yeah overall super nice it's really comfortable it's not like restricting in any way and again i will leave a link in the description box below if you guys want to see or purchase this one they do sell other ones as well like i think they have a longzang robe from there i don't know if that's the exact same vendor i bought mine at maybe it's maybe i don't remember but they have like Lanzan and they have like different characters too and also Wei Ying, they have multiple ones of Wei Ying because he has like three different outfits in the entire manhwa so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll leave the link if you want to see bye!